Hello, my name is Melissa Haynes, and I'm the Instructional Technology Resource Teacher in Buckingham County Public Schools. I've been an educator for 13 years, first as an English teacher, then as a middle school librarian, and now I'm the ITRT for the district. While I was in the library, I received the Instructional Support Award from the Southside Virginia Technology Consortium. I've also created a Google Classroom for the Mentor Program to assist new teachers with learning technology. In 2017, I passed the Level 1 and Level 2 educator exams and became the only person in my district to have those certifications. One of my main goals when I became the ITRT for the district was to encourage as many staff as possible to also receive their certifications. In the last two years, we have had a Lead Teacher Program. I have been a part of that program for both years and we offer after-school professional development sessions about a variety of topics. In response to the pandemic, I created a website for teachers and staff, as well as a website for parents, guardians, and students. I was and am extremely passionate about learning and growing even during these difficult times, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for our small district. Thank you. Today, I want to share with you a resource with your Google Calendar in order to create an appointment slots. So I've already created a calendar called Appointment Calendar. I would click to create a new event and add a title. So we'll call this student teacher conferences and appointment slots. I click on more options and I want to set the time for my class time. So say this class meets from 10 to 11.30. I wanna make sure that both are on the same day, so April 9th, and then you change the time to whatever suits you. If you're only doing this once, then you would leave this where it says does not repeat. If you want it to occur multiple times, you could click custom and repeat every week on Friday in this case. And then I would choose the date that I would want it to end. So if I want it to go through the end of the month, then I would click there. I can also choose to end this after a certain number of occurrences and hit done and save. You'll see it's populated in my calendar. And now when I click here on the event, I see this option to go to the appointment page for this calendar. On that screen, you'll see the slots here for students to select. Say as a student, I go in, I choose the one from 10 to 10, 15 as the slot that I want to meet with you. I can add information here about what we would meet. You'll see that it has created the event title with my name there, and I would hit save. As a student on this screen, now I can see that that option is gone, that that time has been taken, and I only see what's left and available to me. If I go back to my calendar as the teacher, I now see that Melissa has created a slot with me. She's chosen that time and it has created the event. You would just select this link and share that with your students. You can post it in Google Classroom, post it on your website, send it through their email, whichever way suits you and your students best. 